Hello and welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom. Brought to you by me, Alicia Van Kofa. Today is day 33 and I will show you how to use Keynote to create exit tickets. What exactly are exit tickets? Well, they're used by teachers around the world to check for understanding. So it's a type of formative assessment just to see how the students understood the material. You can use it however often you want and you can prepare in advance, prepare some templates and customize them as you go. Keynote is of course very ideal because can, students can input anything that they want personally. They can um, draw, they can write, they can include images, movies or audio. And since it's a digital document, it can be exported, it can be shared, it can be um, archived wherever you want. So exit tickets are usually a series of simple questions that help the student to formulate his or her needs. So they're like, they're like prompts. So typical of exit tickets are, ah, what I knew about the topic before, what was new to me, or two questions I still have. Or you can even use these type of prompts, like today I learned, tomorrow I need, what I didn't understand was, I still need help with, this con lesson connects to my life because or what I remember is. Of course, you can ask students to also summarize the lesson and using the five, uh, the five question words or using one sentence, using an audio note, or you can ask them to record video. They can interview their, the person sitting next to them. Uh, what have you understood? What have I understood? And you can just vary as you want. You can also include puzzles or quizzes or ask them to try to identify and apply exactly what you've just done. Or you can ask them to spot the differences or spot any anything that does not look really quite white. So of course, sharing with students is really easy. So you create the document, as I said, um, you can store it on your learning platform or you can sh share it with them via AirDrop. And then when you're finished, they will hopefully create their exit ticket. How do they add the audio? So let's pretend I'm a student and I've already filled out my answers to the prompts on my exit ticket. What is new? Give me an example. Any questions? And I just want to record these as an audio note. I tap on the plus, record audio. Hi. We learned today how to form commands in reported speech. Then I insert it into here. Record again. One example is, Sarah, stop talking. She told me to stop talking. And the last one. One of the questions I have is, why is there no change in tense? I thought there was a back shift with the tenses. There you go. Then I can export it as a movie file and send to my teacher, however she wants to. Hi. We learned today how to form commands in reported speech. One example is, Sarah, stop talking. She told me to stop talking. One of the questions I have is, why is there no change in tense? I thought there was a back shift with the tenses. And so you see, that's how to create the finished product. And the student would just export this or share this with the teacher. And there you have it. Another idea, another day. All the videos are on the Padlet and all the keynote files are online for your convenience. See you tomorrow.